I am going to be making fruit salad and I'm assuming everyone knows how to make fruit salad but this is for people that don't know how because you know just because I have grown up with it it doesn't mean everyone else has I um, what you'll be needing are apples raisins a knife obviously and this is fat free plain yogurt and you can use any flavor a spoon and this is the no sugar added Splenda kind but you can have any fruit cocktail and this is a lemon the lemon helps the apples from not browning as quickly and it adds flavor also you can use honey and the fruit salad too but I don't have any honey right now so I usually put in honey if I have some so basically I am slicing this lemon the reason why I have a real lemon is because it was cheaper than getting the juice and that's what I usually got I didn't have much money on me so I got this is like a 35 cent lemon for the world right so basically this is not good you this is not good apples I'm very self-conscious with or I'm very um, conscious with a careful extra careful with knives and of course I'm not being careful with a knife right now but is because about five or six years ago I just moved into a place and I was cutting open a package and I cut my middle finger I'm, I'm left handed and this is my right hand I don't know if you can see that I definitely can't well it's like from he here to here it's about like that long I got about six stitches and after that I was like even holding a knife I was shaking because I was so nervous and then you open the can of fruit which the can of fruit honestly you don't put more than one soggy thing like you don't put uh, oranges and the ki the ki fruit cocktail because I've done that before and it gets like this really soggy fruit cocktail like you have this or fruit salad I mean you have the apples the raisins the apples, the raisins, and the fruit cocktail. Specifically making them small because he told, them, told me to. And our new place, I already made this last week. Or earlier this week, I mean. So he said this was great, but the pieces need to be smaller. So I'm going to take an extra time to make him if he makes it with whipped cream. But I like the yogurt better because it's healthier and I honestly try to make it with whipped cream like in the carton and I could not whip cream and it's kind of I'm kind of ashamed of it I've never been able to whip cream I whip and I whip and I whip and it's just liquid that's all it is when I try to do it 
She makes it no problem. Hey, if you want whipped cream on your pumpkin pie, no problem. Me? Eh, 20 minutes later, still whipped cream. 45 minutes later, still whipped cream. It's still cream. It won't pump anything. I mean, I tried it on high. I think this is the most time consuming part chopping up all these apples. This is what all the apples look like. Wonder why. And now I'm going to put them in this colander and wash them. Anywho, um. Do better job with the lemon juice than I did. I usually get the bottle. Anyway, next is the raisins. About this much, just enough, so it thoroughly mixes up my wet. Um, has raisins in it. It was pretty easy to figure out in my opinion. Which would be about a fourth of a cup. It depends how much of this you're making. And then the plain yogurt. Let's see. I'm gonna have to put this down because I can't do this just with one hand. Enjoy. I think my painting's dry. Let's go look at it. Mm, still a little damp yet. 